Hello everybody, welcome back on Mega Given here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to automatically transfer game save data from one game to another. And this is gonna be specifically for Deep Rock Galactic, but if you find another game that does about the same method, you can do it for that method as well. Um, first, to do this, you want to find the actual save data location of these two games. So down here in the bottom left, I have both of the locations open for you to see. Now this isn't the same for everybody. Um, as there is some paths right here, there's a huge string of numbers and letters and a huge string of numbers and letters for the file itself. So those locations will be different on your computers as well as the username. Your username is going to have to replace with your own username. So that's for both file locations, um, or at least the file, at least on the Steam side. But let's just show you how to navigate to these since maybe looking at this won't actually show you. And I'll, I'll copy the data location to at least my data location in the description below as well as the scripts that i will show you how to run to automatically exchange these two so let's go to our c drive which is this is if you install it default location you go to c drive we're going to look for the the xbox location first so on your c drive go to your users your user then go to app data, which app data is a, a hidden folder. Um, you can also do per, um, the run command. So if you do this run and then do percent app data percent, which is a common thing to do that can also get you to your app data location. Um, but if you have a hidden files shown, you can see app data there. Then you go to local, then go to packages. You can press P to scroll down to the P section and there's packages right there. And then from here, you want to look for coffeestainstudios.deeprockgalactic. That's the publisher of the game. So click on that one. Then you go to system app data. Then you go to WGS. Then here you have a whole bunch of string of numbers and letters. Click on that one. Another, again, a number like string of numbers and letters. You click on that one. And then that is your save file right here, this string of numbers and letters. So now that you have that, we have that right here. So we'll, we'll probably close this out. Um, that is, you want to make sure you save that name and the directory type off somewhere else. So I don't know if you want to go to properties and then you can save this off here and you can also copy that and save that off there, the directory. So with that, we can then go to the uh, location for uh, Steam. Yeah. So let's go to C drive again. Go to program files instead this time. This is for if you have it, of course, installed on the default area. Go to Steam, go to Steam Apps, which is down here. Then go to your uh, common file. There we are, common. Deep Rock Galactic, FSD, saved, save games. And then your save file should be this one, which is a string of numbers underscore player dot save. Now, if you noticed, these are different names and different naming conventions. That's why I'm having you save them off, because what you're going to have to do if you want to do this manually is you're going to have to take whichever one you want and then rename the file to the desired um, game type. So if I wanted to save my Steam or pull my Steam and put that into Xbox, I'm going to have to take the name of the Steam file or, or the, I mean the name of the Xbox file, put that in the or steam file name and move it and then overwrite so that's what you're gonna have to do now that's like the manual way of doing it so that's just like how you do like move them back and forth but the thing is this is kind of annoying and what if, if you're like me i actually play this game with a bunch of groups of friends on on steam versus xbox so i might want to use the same file and save to other things so what i did is i wrote a script and i'm gonna have this in the description for everybody so you can be able to use this um, you will have to edit it. I had that whole first section so, because you actually do have to edit this for your own personal use. Um, so we have two different files. Now I have two commands here, two, two copy commands. One copy command is to back up the place that you're overwriting, which is probably a good use. So you don't like, you know, do anything. So what this command does is copy. So you're copying the file dash Y, which is overwrite. So if you wanted to have multiple saves, um, then maybe dash Y isn't the best and you just have it save as like a, I don't know, the, like the, the number two of that file or something like that. But dash Y will overwrite the save. And then over here we have the source location, the, the file you are copying. And then the second uh, spot is the place you're copying to. So for example, this one is copy steam to Xbox. 
So since we're overwriting Xbox, we're going to make a backup of Xbox. So we're copying our Xbox location. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of strings of numbers and letters, string of numbers, letters. And then finally, the final file is right here. And then what I do is my second location is just a place on my desktop. It's a backup save area that I have. And it will save it to that area with this name. So I just have the location. This is a, fi a file directory. So it'll save under that file directory of backups. Now, my second command is the actual command that we want to copy and save from Steam to Xbox. Oh, and this echo command is just something that it just writes into the command line. It doesn't actually do anything or anything of importance. And then our second one is the important stuff. So copy dash Y because we want to overwrite because now that we saved our Xbox file, we overwrite it and our source location is the Steam location plus the save file. You got to make sure you put the save file in there and then we want the destination. So we have the Xbox location. But what we do here is that we have the name of the file, which is the file that we saved off. If you notice that this is the same as this, this is the name of that save file. That way it will take this file or where is it? It will take this file and it will overwrite it with this name and, uh, and they'll do that in the Xbox location. So I have that there and then I have the vice versa down here. This is copying Xbox to Steam. So what I want to do is I want to save away the um, Steam save file. So I put that there, save that into the backups area just, just in case if something goes wrong. And then I have the copy dash Y and I have the location of the Xbox with the file name. And then I save that to the Steam location with the name of the Steam file. Now I'll have these both in the description down below, but you got to make sure that you change this for your own use as these are not universal. So you're gonna have to change the names of these. And that's why I showed you in the beginning how to find these so you can be able to use this for yourself. And you're gonna have to also change the username to your username because you're not Omega Given. I'm Omega Given. Oh, and one more tidbit of information while I was putting this video together. Um, I did not mention how you, so I showed you how to do these copy commands. What you do to actually use this as like a script is you would do file, save as, wherever your location is that you wanna save it to, you can do a file name of whatever you want. And you make sure you do all files and then dot bat dot bat is a batch file that's what it is and once you save it off as that so save as i already did it so i don't want to do it again um let's go over here we can find that our save file if we go to our desktop <laughs> that's where all my stuff is we go to our backup saves. I have two batch files. If I wanted to use them, I just click on them and it'll run the command. So if you want to save Xbox or, or Xbox or Steam to Xbox, let's we'll try that one. Um, it'll run the command. You saw it pop up for half a second and it runs it. Um, it didn't show the echo. Um, you can add some extra commands in here if you want to, but that's basically how you create those files. Yes. So yeah, if this has helped you, please give this video a like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. You can do this with other stuff, make scripts like this to be able to automatically save stuff across. Don't use this for other stuff as you can clearly tell that you can see where the save file is and you can maybe alter it. Don't do that. That's just lame. Why would you play a game by cheating? Don't cheat. All right, but I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.